free falling. In SPM, there are a few things that you need to know about free falling. First of all, of course, you need to know the definitions of free falling. Free falling is a motion under the actions of the gravitational force as the only force acting on the falling object. Second, you need to know about the accelerations of the objects undergo free falling. An object undergoes free falling will move at a uniform acceleration. The acceleration is equal to the gravitational acceleration, which is 10 meter per second per second. Third, you need to know the two cases of free falling, namely dropping object from a high place and launching object vertically upward. We are going to discuss this in the coming slides. Free falling, releasing an object from a high place. Before solving a free-falling problem, we need to determine which direction we want to take as positive. We can take any direction as positive. However, I will always advise you to take the directions of the initial movement as the positive. For example, in this case, the ball is moving downward. Hence, we take downward as the positive direction. There are a few important important things that you need to know regarding these motions. When an object is released from a high place, uh, the initial velocity is zero. In SPM, we always ignore the effect of air resistance. Therefore, the motion is a free falling and the acceleration is equal to the gravitation acceleration, which is 10 meter per second per second. When the ball hit the ground, the displacement of the ball is equal to the height of the building. This is what you should know when solving problems related to free falling. Free falling, launching object upward. Let's look at another case of free falling, launching object upward. As we mentioned before, we need to determine the positive directions of the motion and we are always advised to take the directions of initial movement as the positive. In this case, initially the object is moving upward, therefore we take upward as the positive direction. When the object is moving upward, its velocity decreases, or we can say the object undergoes deceleration. Therefore, the acceleration will be negative. Since this is free falling, the magnitude of the acceleration is equal to the gravitational acceleration, which is 10 meter per second per second. In conclusion, the acceleration is equal to negative 10 meter per second per second. When the object is moving downward, the velocities of the object increases, but the object is moving in the opposite directions. Therefore, the acceleration is still negative 10 meter per second per second. In short, when the object is moving upward, the acceleration is negative because the object is decelerating. When the object is moving downward, the acceleration is still negative because the object moves in the opposite direction. At the maximum point, the object stops for a while and then change directions and move downward. Hence, the velocities of the object is zero. The displacement of the object is equal to the height of the building. The time taken for the object to move to the maximum point is equal to the time taken for the object to move from the maximum point to its initial position. For example, if the object takes two seconds to move from the ground to the maximum point, it will also need two seconds to move from the maximum point to the ground again.